development or cybersecurity. I've been thinking about this a lot lately and in cybersecurity there are so many different jobs and although you don't need to necessarily be a master coder or programmer to work in all of them there are definitely a lot of areas in cybersecurity where coding and development is needed and can make you a better professional and it's not just development and coding i mean there are so many relationships that exist with jobs in cybersecurity and other areas and i'll give you a few examples if you have a history of data analysis that will make you a better SOC analyst someone who works in a security operations center because ultimately you're looking at data you're contextualizing it you're understanding the story what is going on there's a quite heavy overlap of the skills needed to do both roles and of course some differences also if you're training people in cybersecurity, obviously having some sort of history in psychology or training itself in other areas or teaching will of course make you better at teaching people you know security and awareness training or delivering workshops that kind of thing public speaking you know there's a lot of the skills that overlap and I think some of these things are quite obvious if you used to be an actor you'd probably be better at social engineering especially things like vishing calling someone pretending to be someone else to ultimately exploit them and hack them having a history in something performative like acting will definitely be a benefit if you've got a history in like marketing and communications, you're probably going to be better at phishing emails. If you worked in finance and financial audits, of course, information system audit will come quite naturally to you. It's just a different area of audit. So there's all these kind of yin and yang kind of relationships that exist between jobs in cybersecurity and other areas in technology or just the general business world. But why I specifically think development, coding, programming is a huge and very important skill to have or to prioritise before starting a cybersecurity career or even a career within itself, like I think that's a very good option. It's for numerous reasons. Firstly, I think financially, it's about the same. A cybersecurity professional and a really good programmer will probably get paid the same ish depending on industry and country and a few other factors but i think the developers have the potential to make more money because of side gigs freelancing contracting there's a lot more available to them in that area it's more flexible you know cyber security tends to be quite restrictive you can't leave the country or your continent you can't work from various areas outside of that kind of region of protection because you typically have access to a lot of confidential data that can't leave that country or that continent but development's different you're writing code or programming of course there are some areas where you will have access to confidential stuff but typically you're working with test and dummy data so it's not as geographically restricted meaning you can live in like cheaper countries cheaper areas and kind of have more money by the end of it and not only that i mean if you're an app developer for example you know you can work full-time for a company and make a lot of money but you can also develop your own apps and try and experiment and kind of start off businesses and things on the side and just have a lot more second income options as opposed to cyber security which tends to be quite difficult to do that because you basically have to start up your own consulting firm or company to freelance in cyber security which becomes quite difficult you have more options in development not that it's impossible in cyber security but you just have so many more options in development i know a lot of developers that just make websites for random people on the side they develop apps on top of their full-time job. They freelance with other companies and work as contractors for like multiple projects. In cybersecurity, you tend to find people generally just work for one organization and only reach those levels of options when they've built a network and have been in the industry for so many years that the demand has risen to a point where they have that level of flexibility. But I find in development, you get that a lot earlier on. Money aside, the most obvious one is you understand how software works. You understand how like things are developed, like you the software development life cycle, software security, 
functionality, features, business requirements, you interface with different teams, you understand how to build a product, how to lock it down, how access management works under the hood. There are so many advantages to having that knowledge and then later transitioning into cybersecurity because that will make you a better, more efficient cybersecurity professional. A lot of people, and this is just personally how I think, that do computer science or computer engineering are more valuable than people with like a cybersecurity degree because in a cybersecurity degree, by the time you've finished it, it's pretty much useless. Things have changed and the conceptual knowledge within having completed cybersecurity projects isn't as useful as those in computer science and engineering where you've built stuff ground up, you're really good at coding, you're super technical. Those skills, in my opinion, are more useful and you could easily get that cybersecurity knowledge in a certification such as like the CISSP or something else that is almost equivalent to the value of a cybersecurity degree with probably a few more projects and some more hands-on stuff. But spending three or four years learning different coding languages, deep diving into networking, cloud, etc., etc., is so much more useful. Having said that, I don't have a degree, so take that advice with a pinch of salt. But if I could go back and I could focus some of my initial fire and passion that I had for cybersecurity and spend all that time learning development, I feel like that could have been a better use of my time. Not that I necessarily have any regrets, you know, alhamdulillah, my life is good, thank God, I can't complain, but it's just, I am now learning how to code and program and doing some of the things that I feel like should have been done at an earlier stage in my career in technology. It's just more of a personal thing, more of a curiosity, more of a how do things work under the hood that's making me want to really understand and learn how to code as opposed to a necessity because my job demands it. You know, I have no code that I need to write for my day job. This is purely outside of kind of work and just something I'm doing for fun and for my own learning. But yeah, you know, I really do wish I spent at least half of my time, you know, focusing on coding and development and then maybe the other half in security because coding and development is such a valuable skill and it's not going away. Don't think AI is going to take over. I think AI will help. It's like an assistant. It can clean stuff up. It can fill in the gaps. It can maybe write some very basic scripts for you. But I don't think AI will ever get to the point where it can write software that a Fortune 500 can use for a critical business process. There's always going to be humans involved in that development and AI will assist them, but will never replace them. So yeah, AI is of course coming for some jobs, you know, low skilled, repetitive tasks, etc. Even in cybersecurity and other fields and areas, eventually it will get the low hanging fruit, the easy jobs, the easily replaceable people who do very repetitive things that don't require a huge level of skill. And that's an unfortunate reality of our world is that as businesses become more mature and adopt AI, there are going to be some people that will be affected. But I think development is not one of them. Like, yeah, sure, people who probably have my level of coding skill, which is next to none, will be replaced because AI can probably write better code than I can at this moment in time. But senior developers who can build complex applications that are useful to organizations that have thousands, if not hundreds of, hundreds of thousands or millions of lines of code, you know, working with teams and across the organization and understanding what the requirements are is not something AI can ever replace, at least in our lifetimes. So yeah, I would definitely recommend you go for development for those reasons I mentioned, mainly financial. And ultimately, that's what our careers are for. Not to say money is everything, but yeah, money is definitely a concern for most people. And development definitely has much more opportunity in that, primarily through stuff you develop yourself, as well as working for organizations. 
but more on the self bit, you know, side hustle wise, it's a lot easier. And also it gives you a stronger foundation for cybersecurity and makes you a better cybersecurity professional, as I mentioned, because you understand the software, you understand what's going on under the hood, which ultimately just helps you way more in cybersecurity. And of course, it's a lot more flexible. There's of course benefits to both and there's not one rule for all. This is just a personal recommendation from someone who went straight into cybersecurity, having done a brief stint in IT support. You know, I kind of wish I did my rounds a little bit and worked in development and programming and coding and then transitioned to cybersecurity as I feel like it would have gave me more skills and also qualified me for more roles like security engineering, architecture, DevSecOps, malware analysis, forensic analysis. So many other areas really need technical skills, development, coding, programming. You need to understand that to do those technical jobs. Of course, there are areas like audit, GRC, training you know there's a lot of other jobs that don't require coding but yeah it just opens up more options for cyber security and for you being a tech worker in general if you're battling with the thought should i work in development should i work in cyber security coming from a cyber security professional then has every reason to push you into cyber i actually want to just be honest with you guys and say start off in development and learn as much as you can from programming scripting coding it's useful it's a lot more flexible you can make more money you've got side gigs that are available to you like from the very beginning of mastering at least one language and yeah just learn cyber security later or work in cyber security later hope you've enjoyed this one it's a bit of a hot take but i just want to be honest with you guys and yeah like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one